I can't wait until next season. That 4-1 continues to haunt me. Alaska notches a conference win against Stanford behind the arm of Arnold. Oh yeah, I can explain. So that's why there hasn't been an Alaska video in the last couple days. My X splitter decided to just not work one day. So when I recorded this game, it just didn't save. But now that that's out of the way, we can continue on with our journey to be the best team in the NCAA. Kyle Arnold actually had a really good game for once. 16 out of 17 completions, 94%. Jim Gilliam had 76 yards. This guy right here, Maddox, he absolutely went off with 160 yards and a touchdown. At the time I recorded that video, he was currently leading for the Heisman, but after that loss, even though he went off, he's dropped down behind DeAndre Swift at Georgia. So I guess I have to apologize, I have no footage of that game, but we won. Oh, can you just hurry up and sign? There's nothing else I can do for you, mate. Wait, did we even offer him? Oh, we did offer him a scholarship. Then I have no idea. A lot of people have gone against us lately and we've started to drop down. I can't really explain it. I'm more focused on Brenton Coldwell and Ryan Skinner. We need these two more than anybody. And it's looking like we're going to get him. This guy is ready for a visit, but he locked us out. We can't even break back in. We did not make the cut. Well, that sucks. He was one of our best prospects. On to today's game, we are taking on ASU. Of course, they're better in every area majority of teams are kirk herb street still keeping it real they have 510 yards of offense these guys are really good neither of us have injuries so it's a fair game they have been blowing teams out look at this that's definitely not gonna happen this week that being said fellas i'm ready to jump into the game let's get it I was about to be worried for a second, but their best play is a kicker. Oh boy, am I ready for some football. Gotta have faith in Rivero. We're taking this one out. Oh, we're not. I wonder when we're going to play another away game. Is our whole schedule in Alaska this year? Let's go, Rivero. I'm going to leave you wide open like that. It's my guy. Above any achievement this season, I'm trying to get Jim Gilliam on that All-American freshman list. He's got the potential to do it, man. Let's go. Cut it out. Ooh, first down. I don't know why I decided to put the white socks on the black shoes. Looks very odd. Not a fan, mate. Let's go, Copeland. Easy reads. No blocks. I'm sorry, Kyle. This is your moment, Jim. Oh, it's Kyle's moment. Let's go, baby. In the end zone already. That is how we want to start off the game, boys. Interesting play call straight out the gate. Oh. Oh. Copeland. Oh. Somebody. It's not enough for them to truck three people. They have to go straight back to it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they are not playing around today. We just need a lucky break. That's what our whole defense is based upon is lucky breaks. <laughs> We've been stuck in quarter defense the entire drive. I think it might have something to do with this getting bombed on. Uh-oh. Well, that is definitely the trend. Now ASU is going to respond with a perfect drive. Oh, here we go. This is returnable. Can I get some blocks? I need the blocks. Easy work. Roy Wills is over here. So we need to run to the side that he is on. Oh, 31. Completely missed his block. Now the pocket. Take that. Let's go, Jim. No, he dropped it. At some point, the question has to arise. Are we putting way too much pressure on this little freshman? I just want him to be great. Can't blame me for wanting that. Throw on the run. Oh, Copeland. Yes. They're going to give it to us. Talk about a bailout. I don't know if we're doing the human centipede back here. If we are going to run this play, let's at least flip it out to the left. Oh, this play is good. We get the blocks. That's the game plan. Just run it to the side that Wills is on every single play. That's the only way we're going to get blocks. As he gets rushed by five players. Well, Rivera is going to make easy work of that. Oh, that's a pick. That is... That is a pick. Come on, Stone. Good tackle. We cannot prevent these guys from getting a foot. Don't jump. Do not jump. Come on, man. There we go. This is it. Third and two. We going to lock up here. Yes! In the backfield. Great job by Hubbard. He made a sacrifice and he got it. And they missed the field goal. What a shame. Is the wind really that high in Alaska? I'm not really sure. All I know is we're going to get Jim Gilliam on a slant route here. Breakout. Oh, give me some blocks. All right, I'll take it. Make a play for us, Jim. 
Oh, I'll make a play for us. I'll take off with Kyle. Oh, we're going to get jumped. I don't know who this guy is, but he's got some crazy speed to him if he can catch up to Kyle. We have more yards, though. Take that. Big third down, boys. Let's get the stop. I don't know if I want to commit to man coverage here. Oh, jeez. This running back is so good. And now I'm thinking about committing to the run because they just... All they do in this formation is, is run the ball. Oh, it is a pass. There we go. Please let me get out of nickel. I'm going to have to call a timeout just to change up the formation. Let me get on this sneaky flat. Hubbard seems to be able to make plays. He's going to take off. That time Hubbard's unsuccessful. Pump up the crowd. That's all we need. Pick. Clifford Jean. He's only a freshman, so I have a little bit of sympathy, but he's starting to become the Estes of the Alaska team. Oh, that's terrific. The fastest man is ironically the slowest man on the field. That's just not good enough, boys. Sterling Cole has a bruised elbow. That's their starting quarterback. Well, I guess everything turned out for the best. Juke move. Step back. See if we can get Jim open on the wheel route. There we go. Jim, he's gone. Juke move, spin move. I told you this guy is a beast. We might have to start chewing clock as well. We don't want to give ASU another chance on the ball. Dot. All right, let's slowly wear down this clock. We're going to give it to the fullback. Big Mac O. Give it to the Big Mac. The Big Mac. Don't score, yes. I had to make a conscious decision then to not score the touchdown. We're only going to give them one minute to score. As Jim Gilliam busts his way in there. Tie ball game. Let's go, boys. I'm definitely not the type of guy that plays man coverage in this game. But we're going to have to try it out. We'll see if we can get an interception with Barry. Alright. I don't know if that's field goal range. I don't think it is. Yes, it's not. Even the Alaskan wind is on our side. It's six miles per hour against them. So they're going to have to throw it up. Go, 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 go. Come on, Barry. This is yours. There is no, no, there is no way that just happened. Oh no, he caught it. What is that cheese? He can't even believe it. Yeah, you lucky bastard. That's right, guys. I secured a sponsorship with Nissan. Oh, their blocks are immaculate. And Barry gets thrown off. Oh, I got pancaked. He got thrown off. Come on, it's all up to you, Tom. Oh, he can't even make the tackle. Oh, jeez. Come on, Brady. Somebody make the damn tackle, please. Yeah, that's it. Just 360 no scope him over the line. Touchdown, ASU. What, did you see something up there? The ref was pointing at the blimp. Underneath. Good job, Barry. Oh my goodness. Get the block. First down. Let's go, Wheels. It's your moment, mate. Cross the middle. Oh, jeez. He's paralyzed. I don't blame him. He took a hell of a hit. Oh, crap, I've come out in the wrong play. Not only is Jim tired, but all we have is Barry Copeland. Dot. Let's go, baby. You alright, Jim? Oh, guess he's just taking in the sights, I guess. Still deciding to pass the ball. Interesting strategy. Ah, uh, yes, Valentine. The fast linebacker. Get off the block. Just didn't even get a... There's still no reaction. This running back is unstoppable. The computer is evolving. They're starting to take away my out route. Let's go, Jim. That spin move, though. We're really lucky that play worked out. I didn't even mean to throw it to him. <laughs> we got bailed big time. One-on-one -on -one Copeland, though. It is man coverage. Let's go, Copeland, in the corner. Yes! Now all we have to do is lock these guys down. If we can do that, I believe we can score. This is a massive third down. EA will find a way to let him get a first down. 
Just FYI. He, he's not even covered that guy. He was wide open. All right, we do have quarterback spy just in case. Oh, they're calling an audible. What's it going to be, mate? Where are we going? Oh, you're just wasting time. All oh, right. Yes, my bad. Hurry up, man. There's only so much I can pump up the crowd. He's wide open on the out route. Where is the coverage? You know what? That's actually fine. Because they're deciding to stay in this offense, I'll just cover it manually with my boy Tom Brady. Now they're going to run it. These guys were trying to waste the clock a minute ago. Now they're just running hurry up and just standing there, wasting everybody's time. Run back play. Third down. No. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this quarterback is unbelievable. NCAA fans, get ready because this guy's going to be your number one draft pick next season. Like, there is only so much you can do to stop something like that happening. Get the tight end blocking, buy some extra time. Dot! Cut up, Copeland! Step back, cheese! Oh, that probably wasn't a good idea. Copeland is going off today. Over 150 yards and two touchdowns. Potentially looking to get the young man his third right here. Get him on a slant route. Everybody's tired. What's new? Jim Gilliam! They forgot about him in the end zone! Can we do it? The dream is still alive. I don't think they're in field goal range yet. Timeout. And one thing we have to be worried about here is the chance for a fake because teams have done it before. But it looks like they're coming out in the run. Oh my. Okay, well, that's game over right there, fellas. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Just a testament to how good our defense really is. All right, Jim, it's all up to you now. All on the back of Jim. Oh! Well, that was still a really good play. We just couldn't find the effort to get in the end zone. Kyle Arnold had 444 yards in that one game. That was definitely our highest scoring game, but ASU simply just too good. It's all right, man. We'll get him next time. Checking out the stats on the day, Kyle Arnold with a 206.5 passer rating, 400 big ones, nearly, through the air, three touchdowns, 68% completion rate. Rushing into things, Jim Gilliam completely fell off. We kind of just stopped running the ball after this happened, but he did get a touchdown, so did Kyle Arnold. Receiving into things, Copeland picking up 154 on two touchdowns, Jim Gilliam with five receptions for 189. 37.8 average and a touchdown, craziness. Defensive into things, Phoenix Timmons tying it up with Hubbard today. I I don't know who this guy is. He actually looks pretty decent. But uh, no interceptions, no forced fumbles, none of that good stuff today. No interception from Jeffrey Prince. It was a pretty quiet day on the defense. I think we were asleep half the time looking at those touchdowns. That being said, fellas, hopefully you guys did enjoy another episode of our Alaska Golden Eagles Dynasty. Hope you all have a fantastic day. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. I don't know where you've been You're staring all your words Not making any sense